When I was first introduced to Chris, it was through this LA Loft book and I wasn't looking for a branding agency or an ad agency at the time, but it turned into that after we forged a friendship. So we talked via email and text and in the end came up with this idea for the book. It was Chris's idea though, not mine, for the record. <laughs> I was very interested in doing a book. Oh, I've always been interested and then he pitched the idea and I really thought, you know, what? why not this good time? I've got some shows coming up. I just started working with a new gallery in New York. So we timed it. Book came out just before a big exhibition in New York. And I believe that was in 2013. We became friends and talked about wanting to do a project together. And we rolled around a few different exhibition catalogs posters that could be used as mailers and unfolded. And then in the end, we decided to go really big and do a full-fledged hardcover book. They were incredible, mostly because they did everything for the book, with the exception of my artwork that's in it and the photography. They carried all of the design, the concept, the printing, the text or the copy in the book ended up being an interview between Chris and I based on another artist monologue that I had read, a Cindy Sherman book. She was interviewed by John Waters. And it ended up being a really fun, fun interview, and you learned a lot about her. So I wanted to do something like that versus something that was stiff and academic. So that, I feel, was the biggest part for me and the most help, just getting a solid text that because I'm such a terrible writer, and that was always my biggest fear about doing a book, is not being able to say what I want to say and have it be interesting. It was my first time doing a project on this scale, and it was definitely a learning experience for me. And in the end, the book um, was a spectacular book, and it won a publishing award. I believe it was Book of the Year for an Independent Spirit Award at Book of the Year. So it was an incredibly successful first-time project. We were very um, conservative on the numbers, and then the book ended up selling out really fast. <laughs> and it was a learning experience of, oh, okay, well, maybe I should have printed 1,000, and or maybe 2,000. I, I don't know. I don't know the, the top. So I learned a lot about this whole entire process. Obviously, they had a very skilled designer and team that really sorted out everything. I just showed up for, you know, basically the victory laps. <laughs> um, so I would work with them again, just purely based on the success of the project. And they're really great people to work with. I mean, I think those two things, I mean, there. do you need other reasons besides that? Those are the two perfect ones, isn't it? <laughs> Not only did we have an extremely successful project, award-winning successful project, it was really great working with the team because they were interested in the project, they're fun people, and I think not only, you know, a good business relationship, we also have forged a lifelong friendship. At least you guys will have me forever. <laughs> I don't know about you. Ha, 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 ha.